Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your MSFET GTS to Mini with Zap app in Android. We used the Zap app before in other MSFET devices and today it's for, for the GTS 2 Mini. As you can see the third page we have my device, you can see all the devices that we used before, press add new device in case to add the GTS 2 Mini, go to the watch, watch with QR code because the GTS 2 Mini has a QR code and it's time to scan it and now they will pair with each other. So it will take a little bit, around one or two minutes maybe for the first time when you connect it, press OK. As you can see, they bound successfully and it will restore all the data and such on. But now that they are paired, we can use all of the function that we have in these devices. Back at the first page, you can see we have the statistic for steps, day, week, month or year statistic. We have total distance, total time and total burn calories. Also, we got some information for weekly down below. Same with calories, day, week and month. We have the calories that we burned and what we did to burn them. We have sleep uh, statistic as well, day, week, month and year. Same with stress, deep, uh, day, week, month and year. We have average, minimum, maximum, etc. And next we have blood oxygen, again we have maximum, minimum and average blood oxygen that we got, also the statistic on what we did through these measurements. Heart rate is next, again is the same option, we have the statistic maximum, minimum and average as well. Next we have the weight, this changes a little bit as you can see. We have the PII achievements which we talked about in previous videos, we have sleep that we saw before cycles for the latest that we saw in the box video we have here the last time of reaching standards tool uh, bar etc at the second page we have alarm clock which we can set an alarm find device and we got watch faces which we can download more and we will see how to as you can see we have two pages watch face or watch face management where we have our watch faces that we already downloaded in the first page we can choose what type of watch face do we want to download now. So let's choose this one, it's very simple and it looks good. Press download, you can see the downloading is very fast and the, sign, the synchronization is fast as well which is surprising in Android because in iOS we will see later how it's done. You can see now that we have a brand new face in just a matter of seconds. It looks pretty good and I have to agree MSFit is really good at this, we have plenty of these watch faces. After that we have my goals, incoming calls, as you can see I allowed all of them. We have manage SMS replies which we can reply with just an, a touch from the watch. We can type but if you want you can customize what type of SMS do you want to put here. I put subscribe to new tech, you can put talk to you later or I'm busy and you just send that instead. So this is a very good option that they included here at the incoming calls. As you can see we have next the app alert, also vibration mode which you can customize, mine all or de default. We have here the work log, app list management and to do list which you can put as many things as you want. At the third page we saw when we connect the MSFET GTS to Mini. You can see we have the store that we saw before, Mostly, most of these options are just repeating itself. We have notification and reminders, vibration that we saw, health monitoring as you can see all day hard rate monitoring, activity hard rate etc. We have watch settings, wearing and watch wrist and we have the language which we can change, app settings, we can customize the order, we have discoverable find watch activity, heart rate sharing, pairing restriction, running background, lab, system update about this device and unpaired down below. Back at the third page we have my goals for steps, weight, etc. We have the records that we did outdoor running, outdoor cycling or climbing. And we have friends, ad account, feedbacks, mortal lies and settings. So this is all that we have in the Zap app with MSFit GTS 2 guys. 
Thank you very much for your time and support. If you find this video interesting and helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video with another smart device.